So, last summer I wasn't feeling real good and they put me in the hospital and ran some tests. Couldn't find anything wrong. So they sent me home. And then last fall, I still wasn't feeling good. So I had a few more tests wrong or run and they couldn't find anything wrong. Sent me home. So finally my doctor ordered a uterine biopsy. So about six weeks ago, a month ago, six weeks, I went in for a uterine biopsy. And let me tell you, this hurts. So they said they'd call me in about six weeks. They'd have results in four to six weeks. And I said, fine. So they made an appointment for me to come back. I said, good. So about three days later, they called me and they said, oh, we have an opening if you can come in tomorrow. And I looked at my calendar and it was fine. I said, oh, well, that was lucky break. You know, cool, I'll come in. So I went in and I was alone because, you know, I just went in. And they said during the uterine biopsy, they had found adenocarcinoma, malignant adenocarcinoma, which is cancer. And everything they said after that was kind of like, I heard cancer, blah, 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 blah. So I dialed my daughter's number and I let the doctor talked to my daughter. They talked for about a half an hour. My daughter wrote everything down because I knew I would forget. I was just not ready for that. I was ready for another, we can't find anything wrong. <sighs> so then they wanted to do a DNC because they said they wanted to see if it was just in like one place of my uterus, one portion of my uterus. You know, they wanted to go and de do a DNC and get samples all over my uterus and see. Hopefully it was in one place. <clears throat> so my daughter flew in, which is why she was here. And she came with me to the DNC and they did it and then they called with the results two days later and said they were very sorry. But it was all over the uterus. And so I have to have a hysterectomy. And not only a hysterectomy, but they have to open up my complete abdomen. And they have to take lymph nodes from all over my abdomen other organs all over to see that it hasn't spread to my pancreas, my liver, whatever, because I just have not been feeling well for quite a while. So, on April 25th, because the doctor is out, out of town, I have to go see the special surgeon. At that point, he will According to the other oncologist I saw, he will deem this an emergency surgery. And within a couple of days, I will be cut from stem to stern. And it's going to be a very difficult recovery. And from then, I'll just, they will decide if I need chemo, radiation, and how far it's spread. So my daughter is coming back obviously for this and will stay with me while I recuperate to take care of my dad and when I come home from the hospital to take care of me too. <clears throat> I wasn't going to do a video about this. <clears throat> I have told a few of you. I was not going to do a video about it. But It's my life. I, if I'm going to be real, I have to be real with all of you. So, I have cancer. 
it may be spreading and I'm scared. But keep me in your prayers, okay? And I'll still be around until I have my surgery. Then I'll be gone for a while. But um, I wanted to be honest with all of you and let you know what's going on. It's very scary. But I'm a tough old broad. Keep me in your prayers, okay? Bye.